Hello people, so today I'll be giving you the chords and the strumming pattern for the song Bhatin Karo Bhai Vayu uh, Just simplified the song for my playing and I just hope you like it and just uh, that it helps you play it easier It's a beautiful song, so let's get right to it So the first thing that you'll need is a kapo on the first fret and uh, respective to that all the chords that I'll be telling you are just respective to this kapo so the first progression that we'll be using is F major G minor F major and a C uh, and the strumming pattern remains the same throughout the song so uh, it's just one downstroke that you have to extend uh, through the stanzas so it goes like this basically what I'm doing is I'm just plucking the first two chords together then the third the fourth and the last two together so you just have to pace yourself with the song just listen to the song once and twice and while you're singing to, uh, and playing together you will get the hang of it so the chord goes like this This part of the song is twice, chord progression remains the same for both, F major, G minor, F major and C major and the chord progression and the strumming pattern that also remains the same, that's actually the same throughout the song so you just have to strum it like part uh the next verse that has a chord change now we'll be taking a different chord progression which is d minor a minor a sharp and c major this verse also has a slight modification in the middle i'll just tell you with the song so when you when you're playing with the song it should sound like this and then in the next stanza there is a slight change where we use D minor, A minor and then F major and C. So the whole verse, the whole uh, chord progression in this verse would be D minor, A minor, G sharp and a C followed by D minor, A minor, F and a C. Where this verse ends. And then move back to the chorus. Better kabhi saath mere bhi to. Again the chords are F major, G minor, Now we move to the move. next part of the song where we go into a sort of a post chorus or uh, second verse, I don't know. So uh, that is like Aao zara ras mein rone sunne, pal sare diwan ko ne sunne. So there's a slight modification in the chord here. Uh, it should sound like this. Aao zara ras mein rone. The chords that I used here are a bit different. Uh, stanza wise, 
it's like F major and F major again then D minor and D minor again then F major again twice and then C major again twice so it's like you're just using uh, F twice D minor twice F twice and C twice so with the song it will go this verse is twice and then moving on to the next one there is a slight uh, chord transition where we move on to baaton ke matlab zaruri nahi ho lafz ye lafz zaruri nahi aankhon hi aankhon mein ek dusre ke hawa unadne se this one we are using f major g minor a sharp and c so again the chords would be frankly the a sharp and c might be a bit difficult even i am studying at that but then it simplifies chords a lot we move on to the next part of the song where again we use the same chords that we used in the second verse चुपचाप बैठे हुए खाब है बेचैन है थोड़े बेताब है अंदर कहीं जो भी सैलाब है बातें करो बातें करो इफ यू रिमेंबर इन द सेकेंड वर्स देर वॉज अ स्लाइट मॉडिफिकेशन इन द सेकेंड स्टैंड वे वी यूज इन एफ एंड सी एट द एंड है यू डोंट हैव टू डू दैट इट्स जस्ट द सेम फॉर प्रोग्रेशन ऑफ डी माइनर ए माइनर A sharp and C, both stanzas, and then again with the chorus of Beto ko saath mere bhi do, which is again F major, G minor, F major, C. So that kind of covers the song. I hope this helps people who are trying to learn this. It's a really beautiful song, and in times like today, where we all are isolated. and quarantine at home we need to find some something which helps us cope and which helps us pass the time frankly speaking so i just hope this helps and yeah to subscribe like the channel and if you want more suggestions on more songs or anything please leave a comment and do watch the original video for this song and my acoustic cover actually watch my acoustic cover that might help you with this tutorial also because you can then grasp what chords i have played where easily so yeah